Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Lucia. My name is Matlo. Um, I come from Limpopo originally. I live and work in Johannesburg. I come to thank the Lord and testify and thank him for what he has done into my life. My testimony goes like this. In 2015, I started working for a company. It is a big company. When I started working in 2015, I started working as a temporary worker. So meaning I will go two days, three days, sometimes it will go a week without them calling me. From the first day when I entered this church, my prayer point was, God, I'm asking for a promotion and permanent job. I've been writing at the back of my prayer point since 2015. And as I was writing, I begin to be praying. And when I see testimony of people being permanent, and I will tap into that testimony to say, it is, that is my portion. It came to the point where at work, I couldn't take it and I couldn't talk to my account manager anymore because he was not scheduling me to come to work. On the 25th of August, it was a triple anointing service. I knocked off at work and I decided, let me go even though it's late. I came from church. I came to church, sorry. When I came to church, it was Prophet Prince that day that was uh, preaching. I remember he was preaching. He was reading the Isaiah 60 verse 1. He said, arise. For the, uh, arise and shine, for your glory has come. And he, when he was busy preaching and praying, he came straight to me. He said, arise, for your glory has come today. I received it. I received it. And I knew that from that day, my glory has come. That day, I was blessed with the mantle of faith. When I get home, I started praying. I started praying over it. I said, God, you are the God that provides. God, with this mantle of faith, I receive my promotion. I receive my permanent job in Jesus' name. Anything, any mountain that is blocking my promotion, my Father, by the blood of Jesus, Father, move it to any direction that it will scatter in Jesus' name. It didn't last a week. I got an email. It was Wednesday when I got an email to say, you are offered a permanent job. Hallelujah. Can we clap louder to show our excitement for the wonderful work that Jehovah God is doing in our midst. Amen. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Do you have your prayer points? Have you written the seven things you want God to do for you? What did your neighbor say? Amen. Amen. Our sister is telling us that during other people's testimonies, people that have testified about receiving permanent contracts, she would tap in in faith. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Tap, into tap into the testimony and God will surely do it for you. Amen. Amen. Sister, you may continue. Okay. I didn't just get any permanent job. I got my permanent job with medical aid with my provident fund and a share in the company. Hallelujah! When favor, when blessings locate you, when elevation locates you, no one can stop it. Amen. God will elevate you beyond what you have ever imagined. Our sister was only praying for a permanent contract, and not only did she receive that, she received beyond her prayers. Hallelujah. Sister, can you please just tell us, how do you feel now that God has done these wonderful things in your life? I am happy. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, and I give glory to God, and that not only my salary was tripled, 
Praise the Lord, people of God. After the triple anointing, her salary was tripled. Can we show some excitement for the wonderful work that God is doing? Can we clap louder and more beautifully, people of God? Amen. Sister, can you please just tell us how has your life changed since that encounter with God? In so many ways. I now know and have always known that God is my provider. God will restore you, will take you from nobody to somebody. And I just want to say, for all of you who has doubt, believe that God will do something good. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Be happy when you go to trouble. Just tell yourself, he is with me. He's watching over me. And he will surely do it for you. Amen. Uh, sister, you were praying for a permanent contract. And God granted you uh, your prayers. He granted you the answers to your prayers. He even blessed you with a salary increase by tripling it. And he even blessed you with shares. What advice do you have for viewers all over the world and people sitting here who are also praying for that permanent contract, who are, once, who are in the situation that you were once in? My advice is trust in God and obey. When prophets stand and give an instruction, listen and go and do exactly as he says, because he's not speaking on himself. He has been given the word by God. So believe in God and follow instructions. In Jesus' name. Amen. Indeed, obedience is better than sacrifice. Sister, we're seeing a paper on the board. Can you please just tell us what that paper is? Uh, this paper, it's, it's, a, it's just a contract offer for employment that shows my starting dates, my salary, my benefits, and my position, my new position. So that is what the document on the board is all about. Hallelujah. The paper on the board, people of God, is for all those that doubt the works of our God. Amen. Shekinah is indeed the solution center. And as you step into this place, let your, uh, let your faith be lifted up in Jesus' name and you will surely receive all that you desire. Amen. Sister, we thank you very much for sharing with us your wonderful testimony. And may the good and perfect will of our God be made manifest in your life and you will surely come back with many more testimonies and may the perfect peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest and abide with you both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Master Jesus.